Hello everybody, welcome to today's video where we're going to chat very briefly about cookies because um, we all know when we visit a website that there's this little banner that says allow cookies and I'm just, you know, curious why we need them and what they actually do. So as usual, we've got Kyle here who's going to help, hopefully not too techy because he is a bit clever sometimes. So we're going to try and sort of do it carefully. So what are cookies? Uh, cookies is basically a small data file. Um, it's uh, normally just a small text file that's stored on your PC, uh, which stores a little bit of information about what what you have been doing on a website, um, from saving the from the point where you've pressed remember my uh, remember me. So it'll store a session cookie there to uh, obviously remember you for the next time if you've got a valid token, and you've got a few other bits that it can be used for. So the thing is, what, what most people I think are mostly worried about is their data. What's being tracked and why? So when, some, when you allow a cookie or, or something along those lines, are you actually allowing you know, somebody to track you or, or actually really are we worrying about nothing because probably you can be tracked anyway? It's a very open-ended question that unfortunately due to the fact that obviously unless you're reading their privacy policy, you don't know what you're allowing. So unless you look at the uh, privacy policy and go, right, what cookies are in there? What are being tracked? Like Google Analytics, that's a tracking cookie. You may even have somebody that's got Facebook advertisement cookies. It could be anything. So yes, you can be tracked from cookies. And depends on how much in depth you want to be uh, safe, so to speak. Generally, everything you do on the internet is tracked one way or another by somebody. It might not be from the website owner, but it'll be from your internet provider or further down the line. Mm. It's, you are tracked one way or another. The only thing you're doing with Allow Cookies is that you're allowing the ability for that owner of that site to track your data for their own, potentially their own marketing purposes or for being able to upsell you advertising because they will cater your new advert to what you've already visited. Are they dangerous to allow? Uh, back to my original comment, uh, the simple fact is, check the privacy policy, see what you're allowing. You may find that you go to a malicious website, don't know about it, you press allow, and then you've ended up with a tracking cookie that is tracking your computer in a malicious way. However, that's all down to the simple fact that you need, you either, if you're very cautious, check the privacy policy, see what they're tracking, or don't click allow if you're not 100% sure. But know that in general, most cookies are generically safe for everybody. However, there is people that will use them in a malicious way, like anything. So I've seen a rumor, don't know how true it is, that potentially cookies are gonna be removed, or at least the, you know, the banner of allowing them or not will be removed. What implications will that have, in your opinion? Because presumably, anyone that's trying to track Google Analytics as a small business to try and you know, successfully market or advertise, if you're a small business, it's kind of important to have those things, isn't it? The only way I can think of is obviously cookies are going to go because we're storing data in different areas now. We don't need cookie data to store stuff, but uh, I don't know what's coming. They could potentially put in a banner that says, we are tracking you, do you allow this? And it could just be the same as a cookie policy, but it'll be using a different technology like session variables or something like that that will allow us to store that data in a different location. But there may still be a prompt um, a lot of the cookie policy is down to legislation and law for different countries. I mean, Canada has a different mm. legislation to the UK. We, I think, believe for Canada, you have to state every single individual uh, tracking part and you have to accept each one individually or accept all. Whereas in the UK, I believe, um, don't quote me on this, but I, I believe that we only have to say that we are tracking you and do you accept this? If not, mm. remove all cookies. So, last question on this subject. Um, in your opinion, as somebody you know in the tech industry, is it a good idea to have cookies and allow the tracking because you can help a small business create a better marketing strategy? I basically can't answer that because it's down to somebody else. I mean, everybody uses uh, cookies because they want to do marketing. It's not just small businesses or large businesses. Everybody wants data because you can manipulate data to work for your business, no matter which way you look at it. If you want to help that business, press yes. If you don't, press no. I mean, they're going to find a way one way or another to make their business better, helping them track a little bit more information. Yes, it does help, but that's personal preference. Fab, I think that's everything. Although I did then remember that obviously with 
email marketing, there's a lot of, you know, MailChimp in fact track the open rates of emails. So although they're not cookies, um, you know, you are, as a small business and our audience that often watches this, um, you know, you are interested in that data. So it is something that is probably uh, something to think about and, and know a little more about if you need to, you know, do Facebook ads, Google Analytics or email marketing. And I think that's that's everything for today. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for our next video.